one minute to revise the standard law. Without objection, so order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We recently learned that Immigration and Customs Enforcement, also known as ICE, released thousands of illegal immigrants out of our detention facilities across the country in anticipation of the sequester cuts, not after the sequester became law or the cuts became reality, in anticipation. Uh, this is the latest in a string of lapses in judgment uh, by ICE Director John Morton. Because of his repeated questionable actions, I've called on Mr. Morton to resign. Rather than making common sense cuts, like reducing administrative staffing, cutting overhead, or taking other action, ICE chose to release thousands of known criminals directly onto our streets and into our communities. ICE's justification for this plan is that those individuals will remain in a monitoring program while deportation proceedings are ongoing. Really? It baffles me that ICE officials continue to insist that someone who has already committed a crime by entering this country illegally would willingly participate in a monitored self-deportation program. The sequester has started and across the board cuts will affect us all, but we cannot stand by while ICE makes irresponsible decisions. I call on John Morton to resign and make a full accounting of this debacle to the American people. Yield back. The gentleman yields back. For what purpose is the gentleman from